a walking, strutting, shimming ball of brilliance and contradiction, according to the obituary for Tina Turner. Global pop icon Tina Turner, who passed away last month at the age of 83, was a walking, strutting, dancing, and shimming ball of confusion and contradiction during the first half of her 60-year career. In actuality, she was just a cog in her violent husband Ike Turner's entertainment machine during the 1960s and 1970s. If she ventured to deviate from her meticulously rehearsed role, Ike would rapidly tighten the screws. She was labeled as one half of the R&B duo Ike and Tina Turner. Turner's public persona at the time was that of a self-assured, promiscuous lady. She was vulgar, sensual, and bold as she strutted the stage in miniskirts with her trademark legs moving almost independently of the rest of her body. She ramped up the heat to Hindenburg proportions when Ike and Tina Turner played Led Zeppelin's Whole Lot of Love, slowing down the tempo to a languid, sensual cadence. She fully exploited this image of a predatory woman in 1975 when she played the Acid Queen in Ken Russell's adaptation of the musical Tommy. The Acid Queen pledges to make a man of him when the titular deaf, dumb, and blind child, played by who vocalist Roger Daltrey, is brought to her for sexual therapy. Instead, she essentially abandons Tommy alone. Although she was seen as untamable, Tina Turner actually suffered from a physically abusive relationship. Early on in their relationship, when she sought to leave him, he struck her about the head with a wooden shoe stretcher, starting the abuse. She later wed Ike and performed with him in the Ike and Tina Turner review for the following 16 years, leaving the union with nothing more than the sequins on her back in 1976. The second child of Floyd and Zelma Bullock, Tina Turner was born Annamie Bullock on November 26, 1939, in Brownsville, Tennessee. She grew up in the little town of Nutbush, Tennessee, with an older half-sister named Evelyn and an elder sister named Ruby Alline. She went to Flag Grove Elementary School and performed in the church choir there. When Anime was just 11 years old, their mother left the family home after being abused by Floyd. The world of music and entertainment proved to be too great a temptation for Anime, a naturally compassionate person, to resist after graduation. Instead, she and Aline would frequently visit the nightclubs and venues of St. Louis, Missouri, where they lived with their mother. When Ike Turner and his band came to town, Anime was constantly in the front row. She was mesmerized by him and begged him to let her join the band. After she took the microphone during a break in one of his performances and went loose with those pipes, Ike eventually gave in.